Hello everybody, and welcome to the penultimate episode of Gex. Just two levels separate us from the evil Rez, a villain who... plans to... It's very unclear, but he must be stopped. So let's start off with the first Rez level. Let me turn my TV up. Rez Night Fever, burn out, burn Well, he's dead. This looks like an all-nighter at Richard Simmons' house. Yeah. <laughs> I am pretty sure that'll look a lot more disturbing than this. Though I do love the industrial look. It's pretty sweet. Even has little droids flying around in the background. Giant monitors, droids, it's perfect. But yeah, the, uh, the res levels are quite the difficulty spike from the other ones. Like, Cemetery was pretty easy, Cartoon, it was a little more difficult, but really it was just longer. Jungle was easy as hell, Kung Fuville, a little slow because of the water. But then you get to Rez's level and it's like, okay, throw out the gauntlet. Why not? Alright, no, this is tricky. Uh, wait for him to get back and hurt. Nice. Ha, <laughs> full house. I couldn't stand that show. Just not my bag. I'll take this. Wait for it. Okay, he's not gonna do it. Eh, just fly past you. Oh, hello, Mr. Knight. Come back. I have a present for you. Nothing? Oh. I, I guess he jumped off the other side. That's depressing. Alright. Sweet. So yeah, the res levels are very notorious for uh, tight crevices, a bunch of these little bubble things, and just perilous jumps that usually end with spikes in your head. It's kind of devious. Okay, there's a little secret area behind there, so... Kill you, jump on here, get rid of those. Bam. Simple as that. I'll take this, and this. Unfortunately, I can't quite remember where the where the bonus levels are in the res levels. I'm gonna turn my TV back down, it got loud again. Um, yeah, I really don't remember where the heck they are. Okay, now here's a little secret. If you do take the secret way, and you don't feel like climbing all the way back, here's how you can get to that little orb. If you hold left, down, run, and jump, sometimes you can... Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, there it is. Okay, well, we lost our, electri our electricity power up, but still. That's how you get back. Glitches! I'll take this, and this, and this. God damn it. Well, we lost two because of that, but still. Now you know. Learn from my mistakes, young Padawans. And speaking of Star Wars, uh, that guy I mentioned, Red X Rain, he's attempting to do every Star Wars game ever made. Like, he's gonna let's play them all in one giant playlist. I don't know how the hell he's gonna manage that, but, dude, I'm excited for it. I can't wait for him to get to Knights of, Knights of the Old Republic. That, those games were, like, the best. It's tail time. I'm still waiting for my copy of uh, the sequel. You know, Knights of the Old Republic 2? Obviously. Um, I, I bought, like... I'm hungry, damn it. So far, I've bought three... Or, no, wait, two copies. And they've both been, like, like scratched up to hell, and they don't work. Like, I love Game Craze, but since most of their products are used, it's... It's really difficult. It's really difficult to find one that isn't, like, completely busted sometimes. Especially if it's a more obscure game, you know? Still better than GameStop, though. Alright. Take that. Take that. Ooh, do I want the paw or do I want the jump ability? I'll take the paw. Alright. Sorry, I was checking my, uh, my, uh, Elgato program. I thought it froze, but it was just me standing still. Pretty balloons. They are pretty balloons, Gex. Balloons filled with TV static. See? Geronimo! Alright, just climb through here. Ooh, I think that was the first time I ever didn't get hit by that. Alright, yeah, I didn't want to risk the other jump, uh. Hmm. How does do? Okay, yeah, it's 
Shit. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, totally worth it. You see, there's a fly leading off the side there, and that makes me think I can jump down there. I don't want to risk it. I really don't. And then again, it might be where the secret area is. No, 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 no. I don't want to risk that. That's too much of a stretch. I mean, there was an area like that in the cemetery world, but... I don't know, man. That's risky. Okay, so we got a tube up there. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Um, these tubes, they're a new mechanic. I don't know if they're... I don't know if mechanic's the right word. They're a game feature? Now, this is a little tricky. Because it it's going to force me to take damage, unfortunately. So, what we do is... Okay, yeah, that's the tube I want. Alright, this is going to force me to take a little bit of damage, but you get an extra paw from it, so you get a net gain. Huh? See? You're forced to take damage, but you get a paw and a power-up. Sweet. Economical! Eh? Eh? Damn it. Well, I guess it just wasn't destined to last that long. That's what she said. Okay, that's where they want me to go. Careful. Careful. There we go. Okay, no secret area here. Eh? Alright. Ooh, I could also go here, though. Mmm. Okay, let's judge this by which one is... Well, okay. Or we'll just go. That works, too. I was going to say, let's judge it by which one is harder to get to, which would have led to me... Would have, would have led me to get to the bottom one anyway, so... Whatever. Alright, those are sucking in. Yeah, let's go to those. Where do you lead? Alright, I'll take it. Now, where would the secret area be? Like, there's so many possibilities for this. And come to think of it, this is not the way I normally go. I think I usually take the upper route. Hmm. Well, let's take a look around. No! Okay. Cannot do corners. Note to self. Just do that. That'll do. Alright, got him. Awesome. Can we... No, no, no. We can't climb through there. Damn. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. Maybe this is it. This is a long-ass tube. It's like a Futurama episode. Alright. Okay, so up here... I'll hit that. I'll grab this. Okay, so we got the remote. Mission accomplished there. Well, let's see if we can find the secret area, because it's going to bother me if I don't get it. Ooh, this this must be it. Or we're not. Maybe it's not. Damn, was that it, really? That sucks. Hmm... I have no idea where, where it would be. I really don't. Uh... Eh? Okay. Need to figure out how to... There we go. Need to figure out how to get back up there. Alright, well, let's just get ourselves through here. Hmm. Okay. So we need to go right, but it's blocked off by a wall. So obviously, we need to change the scenery with a little camera. Do we go left and up, or just up? Let's go left and up. Okay, we can't. We can't go left. Uh, let's go up. Well, goodbye, slime monster. You were on screen for about two seconds. You'll still get your movie extra credit, though. I think it's like, what, 50 bucks? And you have to be part of the Screen Actors Guild, so... Eh, no pay for you. Though technically, you weren't allowed in the movie anyway. Eh, boring politics. Eh. There we go. Okay, now this should be changed. Hmm. It bothers me that I couldn't find the thing. Maybe it's in the next one. I could be wrong. Probably am. I'm 
gonna be sick! All right, time it, time it, time it. Hurt. Well, we gotta bounce out of it, whatever. Little security. Costs a little health, but security. Bye, friend. Bye, Woody. Oh, okay, easy enough. Bam. Okay, so one level took eh, roughly 12 or 13 minutes. I didn't understand a word of that. I don't even know if it's a reference to anything. It's just gobbledygook. Yeah, I may as well do the second one. Let's get started. Ugly Sorry, I had to burp. Ugly is as ugly does. On the move. Gotta love that Benny Hill action there. Can you read me? Ah, more Star Trek. Love it. Oh my god, it's the most adorable TV. He's out to kill me. Oh, they're especially annoying in this level, and for very good reason. See, on their own, the little bouncy TVs aren't too bad. When you introduce treadmills, they get a little annoying. Because you have no solid ground. You're constantly jumping. Well, if you want to live, you're constantly jumping. Or, you know, if you're just better at video games than me. That's that's another alternative. Yeah, here we go. Great, I found a health club in the belly of hell. <laughs> health club in the be belly of hell, that's awesome. What do we got? Tap the run button just before jumping to get maximum distance. Let off as you land because running on conveyors can be tricky. Alright, well, at least they let you know ahead of time. That's probably more for uh, new gamers, I guess. I think most people now know what a know how the treadmill mechanic works. This is the worst health club I have ever been to. Me too, man. Me too. Alright. Jump. Okay. Jump. And jump again. Awesome. Boing. Boing. Hurt. Sweet. Uh, I don't want to risk... Mm. Maybe I could? Alright, let's risk it. Risk it, Biscuit. Awesome. Damn it. Well, you win some, you lose some. That's how life works. Alright, wait for it. Wait for it. Jumping blindly. Awesome. I had no idea where I was going, but I made it. Thanks, Cocoon. Alright. God, he's made that Jetsons reference like five times in a row, man. And there's the belly of hell joke again. The clips are out of control. God, he's making more references than freaking Family Guy at this rate. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hurt. Sweet. Alright, that was a last second tail bounce, so I'm proud of that. Alright, let's grab this. Awesome. Okay. Let's go up here if we can. Nope. Nothing. Alright. Damn. I was trying to tail bounce you. Sometimes they don't work. Alright. Do that. Awesome. Do... Okay. I didn't know how far that drop was. Alright, uh, jump over you. Great. This is a sign of horrible things to come. Alright, get back up there. Get on the wall. There we go. Awesome. I'm alive. I live to see the tale. Or, tell the tale. Citation needed. Damn. Ah, damn. Well, I was going to say I was a killing machine, but, uh, <laughs> it didn't work out too well, now did it? Thanks to Game Grumps, I've actually been, uh, I've been getting into, what was it called, uh, Nihilist Arby's. It combines really depressing nihilism with the uh, advertising of Arby's, and it's just amazing. If I get to a good point, oh, damn it. 
If I get to a good point, I'll try to read one off. Hang on. I think I gotta... You know what? I'll just leave it there. I don't want the Elgato to get confused. Alright. I have one of their tweets, like, in my phone. Hang on. Hey kids, it's hump day! So grab some delicious Arby's, lay back, and let this brutal existence relentlessly hump you into a despair-laden death. Eat Arby's. <laughs> I freaking love Nihilist Arby's, just... Really dark, depressing humor like that, is, it just gets me. Like, I fucking love it. I think that's part of the reason that I love Death Clock so much, you know? It's like it's really goofy, but at the same time, it's really, really freaking dark. Okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. I nailed it. Nihilist Arby's gives me strength. Eh, cocoons. I don't like cocoons. Eh, okay. Watch out for cocoons. Alright, I can deal with that. Okay, better to risk getting hit by a balloon than getting hit by one of those uh, cocoons. They'll push you right off. Ooh. Okay, I need to really make this jump. Yes! Nailed it yet again. Wow, that was very little room to do that. I am so proud of myself right now. <laughs> you see what I mean? The difficulty spike is just enormous. Yeah, okay. Like, I think the only reason I'm any good at this game is because I played this level, this level in particular, so much. Like, this level alone is enough to make you nihilistic. Nailed it. Nailed it. Damn. Two out of three ain't bad. Here. Sweet. Alright. Time it. Yes! Didn't get hit. Awesome. Okay, I probably want to bounce on this one. Awesome. Alright, wait for it. Go. Just... Oh, I need that. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Hmm. Nothing? Okay. I thought I'd check to see if the uh, secret area was there. It was not. Eh? Eh? Awesome. I'm getting a little paranoid playing this. Like, these balloons are getting faster and more plentiful. Alright. Just tail whip anytime you see one. Okay, now this is a little secret. Right here, if you want to get the tape... Climb here, go left. Epic. I was so proud of myself when I first when I first found this spot. Like, this is... Like, it's not the hardest one to figure out. You can kind of see a little bit of the area to your left there. But, I mean, just damn. That's just an awesome hiding spot. I love that one. Hmm. Looks like there's a spot there I can climb. Nope, can't. All right. All right. I probably should have thought that one through a little more. Ooh. Am I gonna make this? Please? No! Oh, shit! Shit, 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 shit. Damn, you know what? I never did find that secret... I never did find the bonus area. <sighs> that sucks. Alright, well, I'll have to... I don't know. Maybe I'll do it after the Let's Play or something if I feel like it. Alright. Yes! Freaking nailed it. Bam! I didn't get the bonus challenge, but nailed that jump. Whatever that was, I completely agree. Aww. All right, everybody, with those two levels completed, that'll do it for this penultimate episode of Gex. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And in the next one, we'll be taking on Rez, whose motivations remain very unclear. Regardless, I'll see you then.
look, look at the, look at the TV. He's like, mm-mm, you ain't getting in here. Mm-mm. This is my house. Uh, Pope has more color in his cheek. 